Well, this is certainly one of the ones, obviously, you point to. Uh, not only is there a trophy attached to it, but there's rings and all those kinds of things. And um, I, the conference has been so good for so long that it really means a lot to be ACC champions. So I know that they're focused on that. If those three guys play well, and then you add with what Cameron has done historically up there in the past and the, the year that he's had, then come Sunday, I would think we could be in the last pairing with a chance to win the tournament. So uh, if you look at the year and what's gone on and who's played and who hasn't played, I think we've gotten better as the year has gone on. You mentioned uh, the other day that this is a course where if you putt well, you could win. A lot of teams could win on this golf course if you putt well. Well, you've seen the scores. You've been there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it can take sometimes 32, 33 under. We've shot some of the lowest rounds we've ever had, 265s in the same round. Uh, Mike had a 65, and, and Taylor had a 65 in the same round. So you, you have to be prepared if the weather's good to, to shoot low. And that's where all the putts come in. So, And they're not putts for par, up and downs. They're putts for birdies. So you've got to get the speed right, and then you just hope you have a good putting week. And if, if we do, then we'll be right in it. You mentioned Cameron a minute ago. He won the tournament uh, as a freshman. David had a very good tournament last year. You've got some guys going up there that have had some success on this golf course. Um, does that give you an advantage? Well, you, you watch tour players. They tend to go back to places where they've been successful. I mean, Cam not only not won the tournament, but I think he finished second another time. So mm -hmm. he's played well there. Uh, you know, JT gets to go home to North Carolina and play. Justin's getting to go home to North Carolina and play and play against those schools that either did or didn't recruit them. Mm -hmm. And so their families will be there. It should be a real comfortable situation. Uh, the housing thing's nice. We're all in a house together. Uh, where if you can get things running the right way from momentum to things like that, and you take that back to the, the house and people are having a good time and, and you can really just start running with it and have a great week. The one guy, the one new guy on the, uh, on the trip this week is James White. Um, he had to beat out another freshman, Ming, to, uh, to get this spot. What do you expect from him his first try? Well, those two kids have, you know, they've played a lot this year, and it's unfortunate the way it worked out. One of them is sitting home. Uh, either one of them could have gone, and we could have probably picked either one of them. But they've pushed the other guys. I think that's why the other guys ahead of them have gotten better, because if they played the same way at home they had a year ago, then, then they wouldn't be going and be both of them. Uh, it's a good golf course for him. He's a great putter. Uh, good wedge player and so I even though it's new uh, it's a lot like the golf club and, and, and he's been around that so I, I would expect that it's a golf course that he could play very well on it's the 18th hole it's the first hole par fives on both ends of the day and so it's one of those things if all of a sudden you have four or five guys roll through one and you're four under you know it kind of really sets the day there because that's kind of what Anybody that's in contention is probably going to play the first hole three to four under par. Right. Counters. And so that kind of gets you going, and then you play around all day. And, you know, as you say, depending on the kind of day you've had, it can really, you can put the hammer down. If you're 8, 10, 12, or 13 under and throw that to 17 on the last hole. Or if you've kind of struggled all day and you kind of get through 16 and 17 and you're even or two or three under, and then you can throw it to seven. I mean, it really changes the day. And there's eagles out there, there's birdies, and so you really have to keep playing the golf course all the way around because, as you've noted, that the end of the day has changed a lot of things there, whether all of a sudden you make an eagle and three birdies and, and you jump up there 500 at the end. Uh, it's, a, it's a significant hole, but like the first one is, you, you've got to get the first and the 18th if you're going to have a good team score. Now you also mentioned the other day that we've got six or seven teams in the top 50 of the golf week rankings, four maybe in the top 25. Do you figure this is kind of wide open? And, it, and this is no disrespect to Clemson. They're, they're ranked three or four in the country, and, and, and we are what we are. Um, I don't know that in the there's, we've had some great teams in the conference over the last 13 years. I don't know that, that you know their their first win was at our tournament. So I don't know that they're they're good or we're good, but I don't know that there's just some really dominant teams. That's why I think. One of six or seven could win the tournament, and it really wouldn't surprise me. I think we have a lot of good teams. I don't know that the years demonstrated that we have any one, two, or three really great teams. That's why I think it's wide open. 